Take a vote. <laughs> out of four of us. <laughs> Take a vote? Yeah. Do you want to cuddle a venomous snake? No. Hi, we're the Bullhead Municipal Media Crew, and we're on a mission to prove our small community is packed with awesome things to do. To succeed, we're going to do them all. This is our journey. Hi, we're at the Bullhead City Walk Away from Drugs and uh, Walk and 5K. Uh, we're here with Emily Frommelt, the Public Information Officer of the Bullhead City Police Department. Emily, tell yes. us about the event. Why, is, why are we here? Well, why this, am I wearing red? Why are you wearing red? Well, this is the 12th year that we have done the Walk Away from Drugs and 5K. And it is a Red Ribbon Week activity. And for those of you who don't know, Red Ribbon Week is actually the oldest and largest drug prevention campaign. Back in 1985, DEA agent Kiki Camarena was murdered by drug traffickers in Mexico City. So this is in his honor, in his memory, we wear red as a symbol of our uh, intolerance toward the use of drugs and our commitment to a drug-free lifestyle. Awesome. All right, so I'm going to try and run 5K. Yes. Which I tried this like two days ago to see how, <laughs> how, how well a shape I'm in, and I'm not in shape right now. So that's you not going to go it. well. You can do and it. And then uh, Canyon and Christy and, and Quincy, who are right behind you, right there, they're going to do the walk, which is only, what, a mile and a half? It's like 1.2 miles. Yeah, so the walk is easy. easy. The run is the hard part. So. Yes. And you can choose to do either. So you should be here next year. No excuse. You know, make a message about, you know, don't do drugs. Head to the street to get ready because the run is going to be starting right after the speed check. Yes, you got it. In three, two, one, go! Have a good race, go! All right, now that we've just started this uh, walk, so we've just started the walk, we're about uh, when's uh, did you think of this bit thoroughly? <laughs> really important about the walk away from drugs is that yes there are a lot of little kids here at this walk away from drugs and some of us are thinking do they really know the difference do they really understand when the leaders when the leading experts of the op uh, opioid epidemic crisis are saying that the answer relies on education on about how dangerous opioids are on how dangerous drug addiction can be then we need to listen to them and educate kids while they're young. No, we won't see answers tomorrow. We won't see them in a year. But in a decade, it's events like this and kids like this learning about it that's going to lessen the effects of opioids. And I think, yeah, this kind of seems kind of silly. Everyone's dressed in red, shouting no drugs. But I don't think it's going to be silly in 10 years. This is important. We get water. Yes. I would he'd be unlikely to find another opportunity that he's more suited for it. I figured out how to steady cam with handheld. How? Like to walk like this. Or how? So we made it to the third turn. And we're on our we have one more turn. We're almost there. So we made it to the last turn on the last stretch yes. until home. 3167, 58, nice. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I need more water. Yeah. Cold one. Thanks. Nice cold. There you go. Good job. Thanks. Yeah. How's it going? 30. 3150. I won. didn't. Huh? You won. You beat everybody? No, not even close. <laughs> oh, did you run it? Yeah. <laughs> I, I ran it. <laughs> 
All right, we've made it. We're back. Not yet, though. Damn, we finished at the same time. No. How long have you been here for? About 10 minutes. Really? Wow. Two days ago, I tried to run to see how far I could make it, and I made it a mile and a half. And this was three miles. And this was three, so I'm, I'm pretty No, it was five. <laughs> like what? <laughs> I think his son waved at us. National! National. No, National. What? National, National Night, Night out. out! No, you do it, you do it. Quincy, you haven't done an intro for any episode ever. You do it. We're at National this. We're at National Night Out, which is... Uh... It's an annual nationwide event. Oh, really? Yeah, put on by all the local uh, police departments and emergency services departments as a community outreach, making positive connections between law enforcement, law enforcement and the public. Things. They've got drawings, they've got candy, they've got games. Games. I've got candy. And I want some. Hi, I just got here. What's up, what's up? It looks cool, I was in there. How's it going? Good, how are you, Mackenzie? I'm great, what are you doing here? National Night Out, which is America's largest crime prevention event, and this is the 35th annual National Night Out, but it's actually Bullhead City's 20th year doing this event with MEC. So we're at Mojave Electric Cooperative, and we've got all these public safety education booths, and having a great time. We've got a huge turnout this year, and there's, we even have five snakes, and dogs and everything you can think of. We've got the SWAT van out here, the new SWAT van. We've got search and rescue. We've got animal care and welfare. We've got Bureau of Land Management with the snakes. And we've got fingerprinting. Well, anything you can think of is out here tonight. Police officers can't do this job by themselves. They can't be everywhere and, and see everything at all times. We need the help of the community to be the eyes and the ears of the police department as well and to report suspicious activity to us. So it's really promoting the whole philosophy of neighborhood watch and community policing. That's the whole point of National Line Out. All right, what's the first thing I should go check out? The snakes! No. This is a snake without any arms or legs. It's very rare. This is a Mojave Green. That's the most venomous, venomous snake in our area. There is a speckled rattlesnake over there that looks so friendly. I wish I was able to just take him out and just cuddle with him. I have never cuddled with a snake, but it's something I definitely want to do. They are some of the friendliest creatures as long as they're not, you know, a venomous and angry type snake. Take a vote. Out of four of us. <laughs> Take a vote? Yeah. Do you want to cuddle a venomous snake? No. Kenny no, cuddles a venomous snake every night. I can't see. His mom. <laughs> so all these guys are actually native to Mojave County. I mean, where does he live when he's not in the town? Well, they have, they have um, larger cages at the Keenan Field Office. So, yeah, these guys are all our education animals. They're, they're here so you guys can see them up close. We're a community emergency response team. We work with the Bullhead City Fire Department, and we, one of the things we do with them, or for them, is we do rehab. When there's a fire that's going to be an extended length of time, then we have a rehab bus, a vehicle, and we have a bus. And we will take that out to the fire scene, and we will be off to the side, but we're close enough that the firemen have a place to relax. They have food, they have water, they have wet towels. And then, because firemen rotate on ships, they can't fight a fire for four hours. They have to rest. So we're there with our rehab truck to provide them a place to rest. Sure, yeah. Sure, yeah. What is this? Okay. okay, so this is about safe drug disp uh, disposal, and and if you have medication to keep it locked up and safe, here's uh, different ways you can do that so that you don't forget when you took your last uh, dose. So uh, a lot of times our grandparents need things like this so that they can lock them away. And then here is a list of everywhere you can take them in the city to get rid of your extra vitamins, your leftover prescription drugs, drugs that are expired. How about you go talk to those SWAT guys? 
the PACT Academy. Um, I actually put on a suit, I walk around, and we do an explosive demonstration. Yeah? Yeah. Like and, and we use our robots in, in that at the okay, back of the Plant some C4 on, on something and uh, we do all up. different <laughs> kinds of explosives. We do, we do all uh, demonstrations of a bunch of different things. You shoot the guns, they also get to watch you blow stuff up. Correct. Is that like the highlight of your year? The day, the day you get to show people how to blow stuff up? You know what? I love even just doing this. I get to yeah. talk to people that uh, are actually interested in what I do. You know, yeah. and, and it's fun to talk to people that want to know and they want to learn. So I enjoy coming out and meeting the public and, and getting to you know just be human and, yeah. and and be like one of the rest of the people instead of you know. When, unfortunately, when when we meet people, it's normally they're at it's the worst time in their lives. You know, that something horrible's happened to them and they've had to call the police. It's normally not a nice, yeah. nice uh, contact. So to have contacts like this, where people can see that we're human and we we are just like everybody else, and get to to meet people during good times instead of only bad, is great. I, I just I enjoy it. We're gonna go talk to the gardening people, hopefully, and ask them about um, Bullhead City, Mojave Valley, Master Gardeners. University Arizona. I'm reading the banner as I'm walking, so I don't know what I'm talking about. What is Master Gardeners? It is part of the University of Arizona Outreach Program through Cooperative Extension. Okay, and basically we volunteer in our communities. And we first we take classes in horticulture, which is gardening. Okay, and then we volunteer in the community to help other people garden. I don't do drugs. We walked away from them. And we had a night out nationally. I gave you an important message. She did, actually. I'm tired. How did National Night Out go? How do you guys remember that? I remember... We learned a lot from a lot of the people that we talked to. Just about different things that they did and, and why they were there and, and stuff like that. I was surprised how much stuff was in there, especially because it was like such a small area. Yeah. yeah. So there was like so many things going on at once. We walked away from drugs, which was nice. I like the walk. Um, I'm not gonna. I brought a jacket. I ate a bunch of Tapatio Doritos before I went, and I drank soda. Don't follow my example. It's a, there's a bunch of kids just chanting. No, no drugs, no drugs, no drugs, no drugs. Uh, no, I don't think, you know, I don't think you can get better weather in Bullhead City, particularly this time of year. Uh, I mean, I think it was probably 70, 70 degrees outside, virtually no wind, and the beautiful sunset that we got. But, you know, uh, you know, addiction is a mental health issue. Yeah. It's something that everyone should take seriously. And, and these kind of events and these showings are, are important to, to our community. It's, it's a moment to show solidarity, to tell people, you know, we're here for you, we support you. If you're struggling with addiction, you need to reach out and get some help. You know, don't, don't go... Uh, don't think... go through it alone. Exactly. But if you like this episode, um, you know, we got more like it. We're always looking for things to do. So if you want to see us do something, if there's something you want to see us do, a new episodes every single Friday. Make sure to check back next week for what it is we're doing next week. Comment below, let us know what you think we should do. We are always looking for suggestions. We are always looking for volunteers at TV4 to help us produce these shows. And... Smash that like button. Smash that like button. Turn on the notifications. Turn on the notifications. Ring that bell. Be dead. Ding, ding, ding. Hit the thumbs down. <laughs> we'll see you next week.